Hi, it's Gary Ermey from Best Line Equipment, and we're here today to go over a little bit about a Bobcat E35. It is the three-ton excavator line, the most popular line in the mini excavators. E35 actually comes with different arm configuration. This one here is set up with a standard arm. They also make it with a long arm and also an extender hoe. And with the extender hoe, we can put actually put the thumb on with it too. It has a backfill blade. Uh, the hose routing is all well protected. It's down behind the boom. Very simple into here. Same lines that are on to the swing here are connected to the control valve on the other side that makes it very simple for service work, for repairs if anything goes as the machine ages. This one here is the R2 series, which is the newest version of the 35. Um, it comes in two different size horsepower engines. This one's set up for the 25 horsepower engine. Um, Bobcat does make an added option of making it with a 33 horsepower engine that's tier four compliant. With the 33 horsepower, engine you can actually get up to 750 hours on a service chain on an engine oil change on a service for the engine the track system on the 35 here they have the offset rollers on the bottom they're offset to give it more stability for doing digging and doing it off the side around the outside here we also have several different places for chain downs you have chain down in the front you have chain downs along the side and there's also a chain down in the back this is what to consider a zero tail swing machine with a standard arm on the back. As you turn this machine around to the sides, it does not go past the tracks. Um, they do make a conventional tail swing machine in this size. It's called the E32. And that one is a little bit narrow. And as a machine turns to the back, it'll extend over the side of the tracks. This is a 25 horsepower diesel engine. Like I said, the upgrade would be to get the 33 horsepower easy access to a lot of the panels for your fuel, your oil change, your air cleaners and stuff. And then they'll throw over to your hydraulics. Hydraulic tank reservoir, washer fluid, your fuses, everything's right here. To control the hydraulic hose or easy routing right under the cab, right up to the boom. Battery's got easy access to cooler for the hydraulics and the radiator are right here. Easy access to keep clean and they're on fold to make it really simple to keep the debris out, to keep the hydraulics, to keep the machine running cooler for a longer service life. There is added counterweights you can add on to the machine for if you're doing any kind of craning or lifting and stuff and want more balance, you can add onto the back too. If you do do using craning and lifting and stuff, has an easy access eyelet for putting the clevis pin in and for unloading, you have to unload equipment or different things on. Exchange system that Bobcat uses on their machines here is um, easy access for lining buckets up. It's easy to put on and off. There are two versions of it. This one has a hydraulic version on it that you can do, actually change the buckets without exiting the cab. There is another, the standard that comes through it is a manual exchange. It sort of hooks up, and lines the bucket right up and you have one pin that you would have to put in just to hold the bucket to hold the bucket on. So there's multiple different attachments that can be put on here. There's breaker hammers are very popular, augers are very popular, rip, we get some rippers, plate compactors. This one here we have set up here with a power tilt attachment on it that does is for grading with a 48 inch grading bucket. Also there is a 36 inch grading bucket you can install onto this if you want to do something a little bit narrower. With the auxiliaries one here, they have a diverter valve that it's all it is, is you just take a wrench as a tool in the cab and you turn the valve there that converts the hydraulic flow from the clamp to the attachment. And then if you're running the attachment, it puts a clamp, you can keep the clamp in a stored position all the way up against the dipstick. The attachments are real easy to change there with that exchange system with the hydraulic and, and the manual. You can go from trenching bucket back to this power tilt. And the only that thing that does is you have to get out to is actually to hook up the hoses. This power tilt would actually put the bucket at the vertical stance 
And if you need to do any kind of great grading for swales or something like that, you can put it, do it at any angle you want to do it at. You should always have three points of contact when you're in there and exiting any kind of, any kind of machine. They have grab handles on either side of the cab, plus you're stepping into the cab here. My main thing is there is a seat belt to keep you locked into the cab. And then we have to put down a safety bar. That frees up the, all the hydraulics and also allow you to do the traveling. There are different option packages. This one has the upgraded option package with a seven inch screen. Operate it, you just turn the key on. It's already warm right now, so it will not run through the glow plug, but it will run through the glow plug. You can actually touch on a screen here and it'll give you the different, to scroll through the different options. You can have your Bluetooth phone connected, you have a radio connect, it's already built into the system. And you can have the option of a rear view camera and go back to the home screen. To, to start it once it had done the glow plugs and stuff, and you just have to crank it, it'll fire right up. Go through a little bit of the operation of the the power of the power tilt. With this seven inch screen on you can actually touch to the attachments and it'll run through the different different attachments that are available for the excavator. If we bring it down here to the power tilt, touch it, it'll tell you what it needs to do, what controls are used into the cab to uh, operate, the, operate the power tilt. And it'll spell it out for you. When operating the power tilt, you have to just bring the boom up a little bit Turn your auxiliaries, your auxiliaries are on, and it'll beep there. And then you can actually run from what the switch here shows you on the right stick to left and right directions. With the auxiliaries, you can actually adjust and have different settings for different attachments. You can preset it. We can actually slow down the auxiliaries on here, bring it down to a different percentage, a lower percentage. Then when you run the bucket, it'll go much slower. And you can do that, set that up for each attachment. There's two different control patterns. There's the ISO and the standard. This is on a standard where the boom is on the left side and the arm is on the right side. You turn it to the ISO, which is easy to get to. It's right down here at the bottom of your right heel. Turn it 90 degrees. Now the boom is actually on the right side, up and down. The arm is on the left side, back and forth. And in the house, it still stays the same, the right and left on the house. And the bucket stays the same on the right side. If you need to want it to offset the boom for different di different digging applications, and it's done with uh, your thumb on your right lever. Goes to the left. can go to the right. To turn it sideways, bring it side, and you actually can dig or work a same square, uh, a larger trench just by offsetting your boom versus the side of the house. And then it could go the other way. If you need like to learn more information about the Bobcat lineup of excavators, please see your local Best Line dealership. Thank you.